Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a, a demonstration called the collapsing bottle demonstration. I'm placing 25 milliliters of uh, water in this uh, large soda bottle. I'm going to place it in the microwave oven for one minute. And um, during that time, the water will um, rise in temperature, eventually boil. Uh, some of that water will be converted to steam. It will drive out all the air. At the end of one minute, I'm going to uh, place this cap on the bottle, and then we'll see what happens as the bottle cools. Um, this is uh, a demonstration that's related to the imploding can demonstration, which uh, many of you have seen, and I think I have a, uh, uh, an example of that on my uh, YouTube uh, site. Uh, and it's uh, an illustration of how when steam, which has is a large volume, condenses to water, there's a volume decrease and in the capped bottle that will cause a, uh, a um, partial vacuum. So let's see what happens. I tap this real quickly. You have to be careful it is hot, so I'm going to hold it from the top. And it's going to slowly cool. You can see the condensed water on the surface of the bottle. As it cools, it gets, uh, as I said, it creates a partial vacuum. There's even some sound as the uh, bottle cools. So it's a nice illustration of uh, changes of state, uh, gas, water vapor change into a liquid, and of course there's a large change in the, the volume, molar volume, of going from a gas uh, to a liquid. Uh, one, if you're familiar with chemistry, one mole of water, 18 uh, milliliters or grams, uh, would have a volume of uh, um, about 30, mil 30 liters uh, or so at a temperature of 100 degrees and when it cools to uh, liquid water it reduces in volume down to uh, 18 milliliters so there's a large change in volume. Now this uh, demonstration would be a little more dramatic if you rapidly plunge the bottle into ice water it would collapse more quickly obviously. So that's a nice example of the condensation of steam occurring. Now when you do this, of course, uh, it should only be done by adults and uh, of course you're working with uh, boiling water and steam, so you have to be careful. I probably should have used a glove, but I just held it from the top so it's not that hot. So be extremely careful in doing this.